Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the last build for the Canary Channel in the year 2023, and that is the build 26016 for version 23H2. Of course, in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this last build for the Canary Channel, as I've said, for the year 2023. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is providing guys those for this build so you can go into the official Microsoft website select the edition for example the latest build for the Canary channel click on confirm then you're gonna have to select the product language for example English United States click on confirm and the ISO will be offered to you first of all in this build Microsoft is adding the Windows protected print mode which lets your PC exclusively print using the Windows modern print stack which is designed to work with MO Prius certified printers only you can find this in the local group policy editor in computer configuration administrative templates templates and then printers and you're gonna have configure windows protected print there. When you right click on the Wi-Fi icon in the taskbar, Microsoft added an icon for diagnosing network problems. So I think that is a nice addition. Microsoft is also beginning to roll out a change that renames the phone link settings page under settings and Bluetooth and devices to mobile devices. As part of this change, a new section will appear for allowing a PC to access mobile devices. This section currently does not introduce anything new yet, but Microsoft will share more in a future flight. Inside settings system, Microsoft is testing a new page which is called AI components. View and remove AI components that are installed on Windows. If you click on it, you're going to notice that currently only system components are shown, but this is being tested and I think this is pretty nice. This was discovered by Phantom Motion through on Twitter, so shout out to him. We also have a few fixes in this build. For example, Microsoft fixed an issue causing WinRE, Windows Recovery Environment, to not render correctly in the previous flight. Fix an issue causing keyboard shortcuts to not work on the desktop, including using the delete key to delete files off of your desktop. Control key combos to take action on desktop icons or all plus F4 on the desktop to open the shutdown dialog. I've encountered this, so I'm really happy that Microsoft managed to fix this. They also fix an underlying issue causing the details pane in the file explorer to unexpectedly take keyboard focus sometimes. Also fix an issue causing it to not be possible to save changes to shortcuts.inc in the previous flight as they would cite something was using the process. Microsoft also did some work to help improve the performance of loading settings and apps and then installed apps. And they also fix an issue where settings was crashing when attempting to navigate to the system and reserved section under system and storage. We also have a few known issues in this build. I'm only going to mention two of them. Microsoft is investigating an issue causing a small number of insiders to not be able to open settings after the previous flight. There is also a forum post by Microsoft which helps you do a workaround for that. And also navigating to settings and power will crash settings on this build. As a workaround, you can use commands to configure power modes on your device and you're going to have those commands in the article below if you're interested in more information. So this was the build for today for the Canary channel. As I've said, the last build for the Canary channel in this year. So I think it was a good year. It was a good run. A lot of new features implemented by Microsoft. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.